then ultimately we come to i0 is equal to ic plus mh square now this we have got to derive all right but before derivation we need not wait for derivation to pick up formula a, all right so i now say suppose if i am rotating a particular thing suppose if i am rotating this so this is this is the place from where i am rotating it suppose this passes through suppose this is this is from where i am rotating all right so i am rotating this thing like this all right so this is what is this is what is i0 this is what is i0 all right now this this is the center all right so this is the center all right now this center is ic the moment of inertia showing from center of this object from center of this object is ic and this is the place from where actually i am rotating the object all right so you understood that this is io io and this is ic i c if it would have been a circle the center would have been i c that is so it is from the center that passes is that moment of inertia we call it as i c i hope it's clear okay so so what's the formula i zero i want to find moment of inertia here for this rotation so it is what it is i zero that is moment of inertia is equal to i c Right. plus m h m is the mass of the object m is mass of this object m is mass of this object and what is h h is the distance between i c and i zero so h is that is suppose i hold this here this is suppose i c so this distance this is i c as in this to be i c this is i zero so this distance which is there that is h All right, what is so this distance which is there that is h. I hope got it. All right, so that's the formula for finding out moment of inertia when it is rotating like that as I showed. All right, okay. So this is the formula that I have got to keep in mind. This is called as parallel axis formula. Just you have to keep in mind. Lots of numerical comes on this. Now, so we need to know center I C. We need to know for various many. Materials. So you have got to buy at these all formulae for ring moment of inertia. I'm talking of center, right? That means center I C. All right. For ring is M R square. Now, if it is ring, it has to be like this. All right. So for ring, it is M R square, and if it is a disc. And if it is, and if it is a, if it is a disc, then it is half m r square. All right. If it is a hollow sphere, if it's a hollow sphere, if it's a hollow sphere, then it is two by three m r square. And if it is a solid sphere, filled in sphere, then it is two by five m r square. If it's a thin uniform rod, it is. So this is the I C. All right. Thin uniform rod. It is half one by twelve. ml square where l is length of the rod so these are the formula which you have got to by heart please by heart those formula and finally suppose these are three axes this is z axis this is say x axis and this is say y axis all right so z axis so just try to imagine okay now suppose it is like this all right now this is what is Moving like this. Now, this is what is. This is what is z. This would be x-axis. This would be y-axis, and this would be z-axis. All right. Now, mind you, if I call this as x-axis, and if I call this as y-axis, then this and this are same. So, since this and this are same, so. radius is same so ix would be equal to iy ix would be ix mr square 
R is same in both the cases. So I X would be equal to I Y. But this is I Z which is passing through center, all right? Passing through center, that is I Z. Now what's the relationship between I Z, I X and I Y? All right. Okay. Now let's let's try and understand this. Now see. So this is I Z and this is I X and this is I Y. This is I Y. Okay. Now radius of these two are same. So I X is equal to I Y. But half I Z is equal to I X is equal to I Y. Alright. I have already mentioned I X is equal to I Y. What does that mean? That means I Z is equal to I X plus I Y. We can call it as I Z is equal to 2 I X or equal to 2 I Y or is equal to I X plus I Y. I hope it's clear. So this is perpendicular axis formula. This is parallel axis formula. These two formula you really have got to buy hard well along with these. Alright. Then our purpose is sorted. Then our chapter becomes very easy. Alright.